Have you ever been watching a cool new show on a streaming service like Netflix or Hulu, and then all of a sudden your connection gets cut off and you get the screen that says、uh, that you look like you're using a VPN or proxy and that you need to turn off these services? Well, this is likely to have happened to you when you are using a VPN or proxy or an unblocker service. In this video, we will look at how Netflix know that you are on a VPN. So there are good reasons why Netflix doesn't allow you to use a VPN on certain services like their basic with ad plan, right? They need to sell ads, and if you're using a VPN, then they can't properly determine the appropriate ads to serve you. Another good reason is that certain shows and movies are only licensed for certain locations, and if Netflix doesn't know where you really are, they can't properly determine whether you have the rights to watch that content. So how does Netflix know if you are using a VPN? Well, they look at your IP address, and then they can determine from that where in the world you're located. And using other factors, they make their determination. So let's walk through a basic dissection of your network and see what we can find out. I'm going to bring up a terminal window in my Kane Linux environment, and the first way of finding out the internet protocol address of the machine. Is by typing ifconfig to view the current network settings. So after I type in ifconfig, we see here that ifconfig returns with the IPv4 address of 10.0.2.15. The big thing to note is that this is my local network address and not the one that Netflix actually sees. We'll get into that external IP in a minute. I just want to cover two other ways of obtaining the local IP address. So what you can do is you can use the IP command with the address keyword, so IP space ADDR, and this comes back with the same IP of 10.0.2.15. The third method we are going to use is the hostname command with the dash capital I flag for the internet address, and all three commands. Return the same IP address, which again is the IP address of this machine on the private local network. Now, just to be clear, this is not the IP address that Netflix sees. If we look at this simplified diagram we have of the network, we can see that the computers inside our home network are part of the 10 dot local network, and then they go through this router here to the internet. Uh, but to the outside world, to the internet, if you will, the traffic from our computers actually look like they're coming from this external IP or public IP address. So, how do we know what our public IP address is? Well, one way of obtaining the external or public IP address is to use a browser, and then go to the website whatsmyip.com, and this site comes back with the external or public IP. And also the location of where you are,、uh, and it also gives you the internet service provider or ISP that you're using. And it looks like in this case, it correctly identified me as being in Chicago. Another website is ipinfo.io, gives a greater amount of detail about your external facing connection. This website is also able to obtain the location. By giving us the longitude and、uh, latitude coordinates, and I can plug those into Google Maps, and we see here that sure enough, it puts us in Chicago. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we can see that it identifies the ISP as Sykes Networks.、And、if we scroll down even more, we see this section about their privacy object. Which has information about VPNs, proxies, Tor, and hosting. So the company IP Info scans the internet and collects information about VPNs,、uh, HTTP proxies, Tor exit nodes, and so forth, so they can determine which IP addresses come from what hosting providers. So it is possible that Netflix and other streaming services perform the same tests, or they just pay IP Info to do that for them. Well, this is great that we can use these、uh, websites and then get the information. But if we want to automate the process, let's take a look at how we do this from the command line. 
One way is to use the curl command, which basically transfers data from a URL. So the first one I'm going to do is curl, and the address I'm going to do it to is ifconfig.co. So this special uh, website basically will return to you your external IP address. And so uh, what we see here is that re returns our public IP address of 172.107.202.58. Another way of obtaining your public IP address is to use the dig command, which performs a DNS lookup by querying name servers. So I'm going to type in dig plus short myip.opendns.com at resolver1.opendns.com. The plus short option is specified so that we receive a short or terse answer instead of the verbose option, which will give you the version of dig that you're running, a bunch of error checking output, and then the full record. And we don't need all that, we just need the short answer, which just gives us the IP address of the A record. The next argument that we give dig is the name of the resource record that we want to look up. And what I typed in is this special URL of myip.opendns.com. Because it is a special name, the OpenDNS server understands to use the IP of the requesting entity. In this case, it is our public IP. And lastly, uh, we specify the name server that we want to query, which is resolver1.opendns.com. And so this also comes back with 172.107.202.58. Yet another command that we can use to look up our public IP address is host. And host is also used to look up DNS operations. So we can use the host command to give us the IP address of a domain name by typing just host for example, and then cane-live.net. So host will come back with 89.46.110.77 as the IP address for the cane-live.net domain. And we can reverse that lookup by typing in an IP address as the input. So we're going to put host 89.46.110.77 and it comes back with webex1475.aruba.it. So this is likely the hosting service for canelive.net. So let's get back to our example. To use the host command to get our public IP, we can type host-t and then any. So the dash t option uh, is used to specify the query type. And you can try to get the C name, the NS, the SOA, the text, etc. In this case, we're going to ask for any query return. And then next, we're going to use the special address of o-o.myaddr.l.google.com, which the name server ns1.google.com knows is that we're asking for the IP of the requester. So here we see that the public IP of our network is, again, 172.107.202.58. So now we understand that when we surf over to a streaming service, they will see that the traffic is coming from 172.107.202.58. And checking on the database for active VPNs, database for public socks and HTTP proxies, Tor exit nodes, and other methods for matching IP ranges and ISPs, they can determine whether we're masking our true IP address or not and then take the appropriate action like blocking my streaming. For more videos related to networking, see these videos here. Make sure you click on the blue monkey to subscribe. Thanks for your time and happy hunting.